storytellers, it's Joshua D. Fox, and today we're going to be ranking all four of the Batman 1989 to 1997 quadrilogy from the least favorite to my favorite. And this is a trilogy that's sort of controversial. Some people love it, some people just don't like it so much. It's sort of of its time that it doesn't always fit with everyone's niche. Let me know down in the comments below your ranking as well as how well it fits with your own taste and category. And if you like to make sure to subscribe if you're into books, movies, and all of that writing stuff, make sure to, because you're in the right place to do join this community as well. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting off with last place, we have Batman and Robin. Now this is a movie that just does not work. It has a new direction, new feel to it that's very cheesy. And it includes this new actor and new director that takes it in a place that it just feels really odd and does not fit in well with the rest. It has very iconic shots that are very oddly fitting. And it might have a directorial intent that makes this a masterpiece of its own means. But it just does not land well to, to the point where... It can be fun to watch for how bad it is in its own direction, but at the same time, it does what it does well in an uncanny sort of way that just does not land well, but it can be something good to put on when you want to laugh at something that's not so good. And coming up in next place is the... Batman Forever. This is another one. Jim Carrey as the Wither. He has a great role in this and Poison Ivy is interesting choice within this. And then of course this is also where the older director dropped off. You still sort of get that same feel to the atmosphere because he's still contributing to the producing part of it. But it just doesn't land well on the story side. There's some odd choices here and there. The story just it goes all over the place at times. But it does have some good moments that can work now and then again. But overall, it just doesn't capture the feel that I want to see from a Batman film. Although it can be like the last place film. Some fun every once in a while. And coming in second place, we have Batman Returns, which is the return of... Tim Burton for this franchise and it's fairly good for what its own means are. It's not something that I'm really attracted to nor am highly entertained all the way through but the roles are really good. The Penguin has a great villain arc within this and it's almost a little bit of a Christmassy film just in its own means just in the atmosphere and just the introduction to him and the uh, um some of the technology may be a bit aged, but it's still used decently in its own means to tell the story it's trying to. And just having this role at, with Batman continues to be something that's pretty good for um, the direction they're going for. And coming in first place, of course, is the original The Batman. And this is a fun film that just introduces you into the world that you may not have gotten into before. This was one of my more first films that I got into for Batman. And Michael Keaton in this role just really portrays Batman really well. It's sort of debatable on um, Bruce Wayne side of things. But his Batman is really great. The suit is just iconic for its time. And while it's not a fantastic movie and greater than Dark Knight trilogy, any of those films, it still has its own taste that I really like the Tim Burton atmosphere, the dark atmosphere that he brings to the table within this film and then carries on a little bit throughout the rest of the film as well. So that's going to be my ranking of the Batman quadrilogy of the 90s. Let me know down in the comments below how these films are fit in your taste and what your ranking is from your least favorite to your favorite. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.